Hello guys. Um, um, I'm reading my Bible now, and I've, I have this kind of Bible which is really good. It's um, so it helps you to read the Bible every day. It has from January to December. Um, <clears throat> it's actually in the midnight now, but um, obviously. The date is on the 15th. So I'm reading for the 15th. And on the 15th here it says. Um, Hebrews 11. Chapter 1 to 19. That's for morning. And evening it says. Ezekiah chapter 1 and 2. But. I didn't read the morning. So I'm going to be reading. It now. So Hebrews chapter 11. Remember. Um, 1 to 19 so because something i noticed about the bible is it keeps you calm because the more you know the word of god the more you have understanding so it really keeps you calm especially if you're someone that is very hungry a lot of people will obviously will step on your toes that's life for you especially when you're living in a house whereby you know it's not just you alone. You're sharing with people. You know, a lot of people with different culture, different background, they want to step on your toes. But obviously, if you read your Bible or you read your Quran, at least you must have truly believe in God. Whichever God you see is your servant, just make sure whatever it is that, that is in your line of religion, make sure you keep reading it and also pray as well. Because the Bible also say pray without ceasing. So now let's read um, chapter 11 together. I don't want this video to be long because I don't know how many gig I've got. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it says, by faith we understand. So now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by the eat, the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that the things we shall seen were not made of things which are visible. Faith are the dawn of history. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and through it he being dead still speak oh yeah um there are different versions of the bible but i'm using um i think it should be new king james version see the holy bible yeah it's by my church i'm a winner chapel member so god bless Oyedeko bishop david Oyedeko. um you know this bible is given for free from my church Oh my God, my son will just rip off this page. <laughs> but never mind. I think it should be old, um, New King James Version, actually. It should be King James Version. Um, yeah, I think it should be. It should, it's either be King James Version or New King James Version. One of the two. Since they, my son has turned the distance up. So yeah, so um, I don't want this video to be long, like I said. Because a lot of people might get bored. I don't want you people to get bored. Um, so yeah. So, she so said, um, yeah, offered to God, I mean chapter 4. Offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gift, and through it, be he being dead, still speaks. By faith, Henosh was taken to the, away, so that he did not see death, and was not found, because God has taken him. For before he was taken, he had his testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must or be, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, 
being the divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir to heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. Faithful Abraham, hmm. Abraham, our four 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 fathers. But Abraham have many sons, many sons are Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Right and left and oh my God, I remember that song then when we used to go to um, children's church. Ah, back in my country then. God bless Africa. So yeah, faithful Abraham. Don't mind my play a lot. By faith. Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance, and he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise, as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob. They heir with him of the same promise, for he waited for the city which has foundation, whose builder and maker is God. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child. Can you imagine? Sarah. Sarah bore a child at a very, very old age. When she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead. So now we're in chapter. Okay, you're still in chapter 12. As good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the sea so the heavenly hope. These are all died in faith and in faith not receiving, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off were assured of them, embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrim on the heads. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to me to mind that <clears throat> country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better that is a heavenly country therefore god is not ashamed to be god called their god for he has prepared a city for them the faith of the patriarch by faith abraham when he was tested offered up isaac his only child who as at that time see how god tests people's faith and he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son Oh, God is great. Of whom it was said, In Isaac your seed shall be called. Imagine, oh, God told um, Isaac, uh, God told Abraham that Isaac, you, Isaac, obviously will multiply for him, that is inside Isaac, that they will call, their, his seed will be called. So now, is out of God is testing him. Now, so he wants to offer the only child, the only child he has, though. So, in other words, the seed obviously, the seed will not be called now because once Isaac is dead, he's dead in here. Abraham will not finish with that. So, the last verse for today on, on that Hebrew is um, concluding that God was able to raise him up. Hmm. You see, he believed that God then raised Isaac up. The God who gave him Isaac at the old age can still raise Isaac up again. Ah, this God is just too good. As long as you trust in him, even from the dead, from which he also received him in a figurative sense. May the Lord bless the reading and the son of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Like I said, I don't want this video to be long. So that's only for the morning part. Um, I'm gonna like you know do a separate video for how faith works, how faith has really helped me in my journey of life. And please, guys, if you like this video, please thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel i'm willing to you know post more videos and um i really appreciate all your comments but please only positive comments please i'm pleading um yeah so that's just it guys if you want to know anything about me um put it in the um comment box below and don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video um yeah god bless us all good night sweet dreams Bye bye